mental health is actually a reality that is with us. And many of us are suffering due to many varying reasons. There are those ones who are under pressure because you went to school, you have your degree, and you have, been sent, you have gone home and you have to be taken care by the same mother who educated you. And that pressure of not being able to find a job works on you until you get into drugs and alcohol abuse and substance abuse. And with time, that addiction affects your mental health. What we are advising is that we must start addressing this. And now you, can, you have seen the government is actually trying to do something through the Ministry of Health to address the mental issues. And again, what I know is that there is um, the, the, the insurance that is able to cover that particular aspect. And with the NHIF card, which of course has gone through some turbulent times, I hope that with time we will be able to stabilize so that when you have that card, you can be able to access uh, hospitals and all those facilities that can be able for, with that on a card, it will cover all those costs because they are high. Those ones we have been doing, and especially in, uh, in the boy child program, I, it is not cheap. Mental health is very expensive, and I'm sure, together with what the effort that go, uh, the government is doing, uh, we are also trying to do something for those ones who we can access, and we are coming to the campuses to see how best even insurances can be brought in so that they cover the mental health. The last time when I went to Nairobi University, now I've visited about 21 universities in mentorship and all that. <laughs> what made me very sad, uh, Bishop, is that we we'll come and find many young people have committed suicide. And when you go to the bottom of it, you find it was mental issues. So you must start now having uh, someone who you can call. I, I know in Karatina, was it in Karatina? We launched uh, one of the Karatina uh, University has a call center. Where when you feel that pressure, because everything comes from stress, frustration, and sometimes you don't know who to call. I have had a great experience listening to people who are renowned and well known in the field of the girl child. And as a lady, I have learned a lot. I have learned the fact that I need to invest in myself before giving out to the world. Because you can't give out to the world what you don't have. And I've also learned that self-esteem is something inbuilt, success is something inbuilt, and also feeling something inbuilt. So if I want to succeed in life, it is up to me, it's a personal choice. And everything that I do, it's a personal choice. And whether I make a, a bad decision or a good decision, I always have a choice to cover a bad decision with a good decision. And every day is a learning process, and today I have learned a lot. Thank you to the organizers. Um, and uh, today we have learned a lot. We have been preached by Dr. Is Her Excellency Dorcas Rigathi and Bishop David Muriti. Uh, we have had a very wonderful session, and I mean, it's just wonderful to be here. And we are looking forward to visiting here soon, maybe back to school experience, because actually, House of Grace is the best place to be. Experience has been awesome here, learning a lot from Her Excellency, Ms. Dorcas. And uh, I'm so grateful. First of all, I've learned so much, especially when she touched on marriage. To my youngsters outside there and other campus students, I want to tell us to, to know that uh, we shouldn't run into marriage. The first thing is age. Maturity is not about age. It is how ready are you. So it has been a great experience on my side.
a very impactful day, especially now to a person who is passionate about ladies. And the matters that has been addressed by the second lady of the Republic of Kenya has been so impactful now uh, with the challenges that the ladies are facing, either forcefully or out of ignorance. The way they have been addressed, it has been so so much of importance. And again, I want to urge all the ladies out there that in as much as we always want to be mentored, let us also take care of ourselves and get to know more things that affect us and how we can be capable of uh, handling them ourselves. Thank you. It's experience to have uh, Pastor Dorcas Rigadi. She inspires me in a lot of ways and uh, we, we appreciate her effort toward this event. Thank you.